G'day there, it's uh, Matthew Mott here, um, coach of the Australian women's cricket team and very proud vice president of the Lord Taverners. Uh, I've got the unenviable job of following Mad Mick Lewis, so uh, bear with me but as I give an update. But uh, up here obviously in, in sunny Queensland, and, uh, and my first shout out is to everyone down there in Melbourne. Um, it must be incredibly tough at the moment. I know speaking to all of our players, uh, it's had its challenges and, and there's certainly more to come. But uh, in true Victorian spirit, um, obviously just grit the teeth and, and, and hopefully there's some light at the end of the tunnel very, very soon. But uh, we're all thinking of you up here. Uh, we're looking forward to getting some cricket up and going in the next couple of weeks. And uh, it's uh, the first day for those Victorian players up here and, and they'll, they'll go through their paces doing some stuff in the gym and then their first net session tomorrow, which I know, speaking of Meg Lanning, um, absolutely chomping at the bit to get some cricket in. So uh, I've been asked to just do a bit of an update on um, you know, the, the T20 World Cup and my reflections. Um, to, to me, it was, it was probably the most enjoyable campaign that I've ever been involved with. Uh, it certainly was a, a seesawing tussle throughout, um, obviously after our first loss against India, and the weight of expectation of, uh, of a lot of people for us to do well in that tournament, and, and hopefully feel the MCG was, uh, was a burden that we were probably carrying a little bit too heavily. Um, you know, the leadership group in particular got their heads together and, and we found some strategies to try and work out a way to just um, decompress a little bit. We, we took a lot of things out of our schedule and, and just try to get back to enjoying our cricket, which we know works so well for us in the past. Um, as it turned out, history was made, 86,000 people at the MCG, uh, just an incredible celebration of cricket. And I think um, not only for, for, for women's cricket, but for young boys as well. The amount of young boys in the audience, it was, it was staggering. And uh, those young girls, I think it's a, it's a, it's a memory they'll never forget. And, and obviously pinnacled by um, some, some wayward dancing, particularly from young Molly Strano up there with, with Katy Perry. But uh, what, a, what an amazing event. Um, it just seems a lifetime ago. I think everyone has gone through a lot of pain and we've all um, done a lot of soul searching since then. But uh, I think we, obviously it was a, a full house there and we haven't seen the likes of that since. Um, and I just can't wait till we get back to those happy days. And, and hopefully this series against New Zealand is the start of all that. Uh, this series now, has, it's gone on a few different uh, ways, but we've eventually landed that we've got all six games here at Allen Border Field at the National Cricket Centre. Um, we'll play three T20s to start with and three ODIs against a very, very strong New Zealand team. Uh, they've prepared pretty well. I've been speaking to their coach, Bob Carter, over, over the time in the last few weeks, trying to make sure that we're all ready to go. And, and obviously, as we've seen from the AFL, just try and limit the, the risk of players coming off big breaks and straight into the cut and thrust of, of match cricket. Um, I just want to shout out just how privileged I am to be a vice president. Uh, there's obviously a, a lot of great names in Victorian cricket there and um, and then there's me. So uh, it, it is a privilege and I, I feel very lucky and hopefully um, you guys, as I said, uh, can, things can start to turn around. You can start to get back and uh, into the normal way of life. But we know there's still a long challenge ahead. We wish you all the best and uh, we can't wait to see you back down there very soon. Good luck to everyone. Take care.